The female sex cells, ova, develop in the ovaries by a form of meiosis called oogenesis. The sequence of events in oogenesis is similar to the sequence in spermatogenesis, but the timing and final result are different. Oogonia begin with 46 chromosomes, or 23 pair. They enter a growth phase, enlarge, and become primary oocytes. The primary oocytes replicate their DNA and begin the first meiotic division, but stop in the prophase until puberty. Many of the primary oocytes degenerate before birth, but approximately 400,000 will be available to the female over her reproductive years. Beginning at puberty, several primary oocytes start to grow again each month. One of the primary oocytes will outgrow the others and resume meiosis. The other cells degenerate. The large cell undergoes an unequal division so that nearly all the cytoplasm, organelles, and half the chromosomes go to one cell, which becomes a secondary oocyte with 23 chromosomes. The remaining half of the chromosomes go to a smaller cell called the first polar body. The secondary oocyte begins the second meiotic division, but the process stops in the metaphase. At this point, ovulation occurs. If fertilization occurs, meiosis continues. The smaller cell from this division is a second polar body. The first polar body also usually divides in meiosis to produce two even smaller polar bodies. If fertilization does not occur, the second meiotic division is never completed, and the secondary oocyte degenerates. In oogenesis, only one functional ovum, with 23 chromosomes, develops from a primary oocyte. The other three cells are polar bodies and eventually degenerate. This is unlike the male, as you recall, that produces four functional spermatozoa, with 23 chromosomes each, from every primary spermatocyte.